So JE Advanced is coming near and in this video we will be discussing the top 5 most important chapters that you should be studying from physics. Okay. So the last video was of mathematics. I hope you are studying those chapters and in this video we will discuss physics chapters. Okay. So please don't just see the chapters. The ch list of chapters is not important. What is important is what I will tell you about these chapters, which sections are important, which sections have the most weightage, right? So please watch it till the end so that you get a complete idea, not just the list of chapters. Okay, so let's begin. And before beginning, I would like to remind you that we have launched our J advanced crash course and it is being used by a lot of students lately because J main has recently been finished and students are now preparing for J advanced. That course has everything that you need for J advanced, including uh, test, uh, test series, lectures uh, and uh, DPPs, everything is there in that course and it costs just rupees 3000. So it's a very good deal. Get it in the description section. Okay. Also, I have discussed a lot of hard questions in that chapter, in that course as well, where I have discussed how you can think of J advanced level problems from scratch. Okay. So there are a lot of problems which are out of the box, right? So I have uh, discussed examples from previous year, J advanced papers and uh, uh, books like I, Rodo, Don't Worry, Das Gupta. I've discussed those kind of question as well. And I've told you how you can think of such kind of things from the scratch. Okay. So it's a very useful course. Get it in the description section. So let's talk about J physics. So the first chapter, which I would suggest everyone to focus on is CUM. Okay. Center of mass. And the reason why I'm asking you to do this question is because this chapter is because if you look at the questions of J advanced of past few years, you will notice that they don't ask questions from individual chapters. Okay. They would like to combine a lot of concepts together and then ask you a question. Okay. They will not ask you a kinematics question. They will not ask you an NLM question. They will not ask you a work power energy question. They will ask you questions of chapters where they can mix different concepts together. And center of mass gives the first opportunity to do that when it comes to mechanics. Okay. So a lot of people run away from center of mass because it's apparently a bit difficult chapter uh, because for the first time you are actually going to do a lot of, uh, you know, integration differentiation when you're calculating center of mass of different kinds of bodies and you're combining concepts like NLM, work power energy, angular momentum for the, so yeah, all of those things. Angular momentum comes in rotation, but okay. You're combining a lot of concepts for the first time, for example, in collisions and those kind of things. Okay. But this chapter has a lot of potential for very conceptual questions, questions which you have not dealt with before. And that is where J advanced shine because J advanced really likes to question you on the ability of solving and thinking about brand new problems, right? So this chapter is very important from that point of view. Okay. One of the most important topics of this chapter is conservation of momentum. Okay. So they will ask you a lot of questions where they will use the concept of conservation of momentum. Okay. So please study this chapter. And then the next chapter is the daddy of this chapter, which is rotation. Okay. So if you look at the NCRT of physics of 11, you will notice that I think these chapters are merged into uh, one single unit. Okay. At least some parts of them are okay. System of particles, something and digit bird something like that is the name of the chapter. So again, this chapter involves the concepts of every topic of physics in mechanics. Okay. It will have the use of kinematics and rotational kinematics. It will have use of uh, NLM. It will use work by energy. It will also use center of mass. Okay. So that is why this chapter becomes the big daddy of mechanics. And if you look at the past year papers of J advanced, you will notice that rotation has at least two or three questions in J advanced and generally all of them are very large or time consuming questions as well. They are tricky questions and some of the most hardest questions which have appeared in J advanced history have also been from rotation itself, right? So it's a, a chapter which is a bit difficult, but I will give you a context here. Okay. Usually I don't tell people who are, let's say preparing for J main last time that you should study rotation. I have actually named this chapter in the list of chapters you should avoid because this is such a large and time consuming chapter and also because a lot of people are not able to understand it. But since this video is for J advanced and you guys have cleared J main already, or you're expecting to do well in J main, right? That's why you're watching this video. So I expect that you guys already have some level of awareness of how rotation, uh, you, you at least know the basics of mechanics, right? You know, the basics of rotation at the very least. So since you guys are already clear with the concepts, I think it is in your best interest to focus on such hard chapters because this is where you will shine in J advanced. Okay. You will not shine by doing what everyone has already done. You will shine by doing things which not others can do. Okay. And that is a chapter and this is a chapter where you can actually have that edge. So please study rotation very well. 
uh, if you look at some of the so if you look at 2022 or 2020 or 2016 or even 2014 paper these were some of the harder papers of J right or 2015 paper these uh, J advanced papers have had many very drastic and very you know difficult and very tricky questions from rotation and that is why I urge everyone to study this chapter very well if you want you can solve the books uh, the book IE Rodo uh, that has a very good collection of mechanics problems, especially from both of these chapters. Okay, so these are time consuming. So I would uh, suggest everyone to complete them in April itself. Don't leave them for May. Okay, the next chapter which I would say is electrostatics. Okay, electrostatics again, it's a very basic, very uh, fundamental chapter and it has a very huge weightage as well. Okay, so when I say electrostatics, I don't mean just the you know Coulomb's law and all that J advanced rarely ask questions from Coulomb's law what they will ask you questions from is capacitors Gauss's law uh, you know potential these are the portions where they will try to trap you okay so please be well versed in those concepts and try to do a lot of questions from Gauss's law okay because that is a very conceptual portion and J advanced is known for asking tricky questions from such kind of things okay so you must have done a lot of symmetry uh, kind of questions right so for example so there is a cube uh, you have to find the flux of this chart through this and then you complete the cube and then you say that you know it's one eighth of the flux of a cube something like that you do right so how did you do this by symmetry so they will invent new kind of questions which will use such symmetry okay so you have to be aware of such things you have to be well versed in these things okay the straightforward things like uh, you know calculating char so cal calculating the electric field these things will probably not come what will come is these kind of tricky situations using Gauss's law uh, potential and capacitors okay capacitive circuits are also important I remember in my year in 2017 there was this very complex circuit and they were charging this capacitor and then there was another battery used to charge this so it was a bit complicated and then they asked the energy of this capacitor right so it was a complicated and it's a good problem so you should be very well versed about circuits uh, using capacitors okay again J advanced will not ask you capacitance you know they will not ask you to calculate spherical uh, capacitor they won't ask you such questions they will ask you these circuit based questions okay in capacitance and there you will get stuck if you're not well versed with the concept which brings me to my next chapter which is current electricity okay current electricity is another very important chapter uh, they will ask you a lot of questions related to circuits okay so now they, these questions will not be of the type where you will be asked to calculate let's say uh, equivalent resistance that won't be the forte in which they will try to test you what they will try to test you on is your general circuit analysis ability okay so they will make a complex circuit like this so in my year there was a complete paragraph okay in 2017 if you look so there uh, you know they will put some resistance also they will probably put some uh, you know inductor also they will put some capacitance everything they will put and then they will ask something that you know this they, we add another battery after two hours something like this they will do so, so they will do all kinds of weird stuff okay so you have to be ready for these things and these will be questions which will not be taught in a coaching okay these are the type of questions that you can only think if you know the concepts well okay J advanced will not ask you questions which are already covered by a coaching okay they will come up with something completely new okay so be prepared for it do a lot of circuit analysis questions be uh, well equipped with your Kirchhoff laws how to solve these three or four variable equations because these things can come handy okay and the last chapter which I would suggest you to focus on is your geometrical optics okay geometrical optics this is probably the easiest chapter in this list geometrical optics has a lot of weightage uh, because it's a very it's an important part of physics and they cannot let you go without asking a lot of questions from it and geometrical optics is relatively easy because there will be no because there are very few formulas and things to do in geometrical optics right so you have got your uh, refraction at spherical surface you have got your uh, lens formula le uh, lens maker formula mirror formula lens formula and maybe a few telescope stuff and even that is not uh, usually asked in J advanced right so there are not a lot of concepts in geometrical optics there is no calculus there is no math it's just simple maybe at max you will have to do some trigonometry so please uh, study optics well because it's easy marks okay there will be a lot of questions from optics and they will be easy they won't be very hard it is uh, easy to understand as well as easy to score in topic as compared to these ones these are all hard to study and hard to score in this one is easy to study and easy, easy to score in so please study this chapter okay now there are a lot of other chapters as well fluids heat thermodynamics uh, you know modern physics all of those chapters uh, but they are chapters which are relatively easy 
and if you have cleared J main, I expect that you know most of those things. And those are the kind of chapters where they cannot make something extraordinarily out of the blue. It will be something that you already know or something in the usual syllabus, right? So you should be able to solve those questions. And I'm not saying those are not important, but these are chapters where there's a possibility of either a huge weightage or a different different kind of question which you can get an edge on if you're good at these chapters. Uh, something like uh, there's a scope for any of these things in these five chapters and that's why i suggest you to focus the most on these if you want more help in your j advanced preparation our j advanced crash course for this year has been released link is given in the description get it now it costs only rupees 3000 and trust me it will give you a much much better return like your money will be completely worth it if you study only my j advanced uh, so i have a section in that course where i've discussed a lot of past year j advanced problems and problems from uh, you know olympiads and erodo and stuff like that so there i have discussed a lot of my thinking abilities of how would i approach a question which is completely new to me from scratch because that is what you're supposed to do in j advanced right anyone can solve past year papers and give you the solution that anyone can do i have told you how i personally think of questions and how i personally used to you know have my what my approach was for approaching a completely new problem so that will be completely worth your money and you will be getting everything else like the test series question bank and dpps and lectures everything else you will be getting as well okay so do get it in the description section uh, and study it starting today itself so that you have more time to study okay so get it today in the description i hope you like this video if you like please like subscribe press the bell notifications if you have any queries my social handles are linked in the description Good